Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. This is Moonstalker, a dead place for walkthroughs with Buvar of Dragon Age Inquisition. Explain this. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need him, Cassandra. So what happens now? Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman. A woman? She reached out to me. But then... <sighs> Go to the Ford Camp Liliana. I will take him to the Rift. What did happen? It will be easier to show you. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. You say it may be the key? To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. I understand. Then... I'll do what I can, whatever it takes.
They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. It's over. Drop your weapon. Now! If you're going to lead me through a demon-infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. <sighs> you're right. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Take these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are your soldiers? At the forward camp or fighting. We are on our own for now. Them, we may gain the advantage.
Up on the hill. It's a Packs from a distance. Getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. It is yours. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself? Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Barak Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Are you with the Chantry, or? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner. Just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. So, I close the rift. What now? Now we go to meet Leliana. What a great idea! Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. 
Oh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. I can't close the breach if I'm dead. That is most certainly true. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I've seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable. And was prone to result in premature execution. ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Another rift! We must seal it! Quickly! They keep coming!
the way, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. They come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who he is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You shouldn't even be here! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker.
sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoners doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough, won't we? The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you, for all our sakes. Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows. Have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'm assuming you have a plan to get me up there? No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run where you can! Run them! We have an intruder. Play the dwarf. there who attacked and the divine is she was this vision true what are we seeing i don't remember 
echoes of what happened here. The fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed, albeit temporarily. I believe that with the mark, the rift can be opened, and then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready!
I didn't know you were awake. I swear. Is this another prison? I... no. I mean, I don't think so. Then where am I? Tell me. I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You're back in Haven, my lord. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. So you're saying they're happy with me? I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. That's him. That's the Herald of Andraste. That's him. He stopped the breach from getting any bigger. The Chancellor Kendrick says that the Chantry wants nothing to do with us. believe he is guilty. The dwarf failed, Seeker. 
the three chis still in the sky. For all you know, he intended it this way. I do not believe that. That is not for you to decide. Your duty is to serve the... Chain him! I want him prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result insofar as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. You really think your Maker would send someone like me? The Maker does as he wills. It is not for me to say. Even if that means a dwarf is his chosen? Humans are not the only people with an interest in the fate of the world. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order, with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers. And now, no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order, but the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done, united under a single banner once more. If you're truly trying to restore order... That is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late.
that's the introduction for Boulevard, Dragon Age Inquisition. Does it trouble you? I just wish I knew what it was, or how I got it. We will find out. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed Provided the Mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Can't you simply ignore them? If only that were possible. Some are calling you a dwarf, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the Temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the Rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading, which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I don't mind it at all. 
People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach? The real threat? They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far, and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll see what she has to say. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Let's see what we have. Let us begin. If you've got lyrium to sell, Commander Cullen is handling all purchases. Oh, you're him, Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. 
If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. Thanks for checking anyway. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood? To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. I'm sorry. Her death has clearly hit you hard. Not just me. All of us. She was the divine. She led the faithful. She was the heart. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me. Working with the divine. Helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. This has nothing to do with me. You're right. I shouldn't have let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. So it's true. Butler has stand on us. I hope my hunch was wrong. You knew him well? Not as well as I thought. Show me the reports. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? Please kill Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Glad to see traitors are dealt with quickly. <laughs> we must do whatever it takes to protect our interests. I am pleased that you agree.
I have no tolerance for traitors. You take a harsh view. But I suppose that is the way in these troubled times. We will make the Inquisition a force to fear. Now if you're happy, I have more work to do. Reports of fade refs and demons keep coming. The people are terrified and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. They called you the left hand of the divine. That they did. What of it? I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets, made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. Was there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers? Typical. I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Love is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, yes, it was more than friendship. How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest. Broken. Lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. We'll talk more later. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe that any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle.
If the Inquisition wants to fear the decent cavalry, it needs better quality. Expected you be by. I'm Harrod, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear fit? Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Good. The world's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work, something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. Can you help improve my arms and armor? Yes. You find a new piece, a pauldron or greaves, we'll take care of you. You can't just slap a new hilt on your sword in the field. Bring it here, we'll make sure it's done right and proper. If I want something, what can you make? Start simple. Something to keep you safe. Take a look at it on the table there and we can talk. You'll need materials. You should have what you want just outside. Goodbye. Right.
must be something here. Come on, you've seen our mounts. Most of them should be pulling plows.
You're kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. What does your faith tell you? I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits, or how. What's going to happen now? Now, we deal with the Chantry's panic over you before they do even more harm. <laughs> then we close the breach. We are the only ones who can. <sighs> After that, we find out who is responsible for this chaos, and we end them. And if there are consequences to be paid for what I have done, I pay them. I only pray the price is not too high. You didn't have any choice. Didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. You've said you believe you're chosen. Does that mean you believe in the Maker? I believe he exists. You do? I'm surprised, but I suppose it's comforting. Surely the Maker put us both on this path for a reason. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. Sacred asked, told... <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. Until the breach is closed, no one's safe. True. I'll keep the bandages handy. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. I found notes by a master Tajan. I wondered if you might be interested. Let me have a look. This should... Oh, I see. With a distillate of... <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here. But he couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better. I can make that too.
Perhaps another time. of Andraste. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's good to see another dwarf in the Inquisition. There aren't many of us around. Inquisition Scout Harding, at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. <laughs> Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. I'm starting to worry about these stories that everyone's heard. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. They only say you're the last great hope for Thetis. Oh, wonderful. The Hinterlands are as good a place as any to start fixing things. We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. 
Our latest reports say that the war is spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Word for you. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Watch your step. Giselle should be somewhere nearby. Inquisition forces, they're trying to protect the refugees. Refugees. Looks like they could use a hand. Hold, oh, we are not apostates. I do not think they care, Sika. Are not class. You mean you know harm? Doesn't look like they're listening. Coming our way. Flank them.
you right as you do, Varric. I can never... There are mages here who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't... Don't touch me, Mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. I'm told you asked for me. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new Divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people. Senselessly taken from us. What happened was horrible. Fear makes us desperate, but hopefully not beyond reason. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics you are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. Give them something else to believe. You want me to appeal to them? If I thought you were incapable, I wouldn't suggest it. Will they even listen? Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. It's good of you to do this. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate. Or sent to help us, but... I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call, as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry who will be amenable to a gathering. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Corporal Vale is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. around to kill you for poaching. Too dangerous to go hunting now. More likely to find mages than luck. Good luck. Luck won't put fat on your ribs. You know what I like about you, Chuckles? Your boundless optimism. It's comforting that whatever qualities I lack, you'll invent for me, Varric. No, really. Why else would an elven apostate help crazy chantry folk close a hole in the sky? When you put it like that, I must concede your point. Could be better. Please, somebody, <laughs> my wife needs help. What's wrong with your wife? She gets sick when the weather's foul. Can't catch her breath like cobwebs in her lungs. Our son Hindle makes a potion that lets her breathe. 
He's the only one who can make it, but he's joined that cult in the hills. Please, get to him and tell him what's wrong. W without that potion, she'll die. Of course. Have you seen all the wives? No, they don't. It's just what I heard. It's just what I heard. The Inquisition. Corporal Vale, thanks for your help. The Majors and Templars don't seem to care who gets caught in their war. The refugees here are in dire need of help. If the war doesn't kill them, cold or starvation will. Is there anything we can do to help people deal with the cold? I asked the Inquisition to send blankets. You'd think I was asking for a wagon of raw Lyrian. A recruit named Whittle is trying to make what we can bring in last. If you have any ideas, talk to him across the road. What can you tell me about the man who's supposed to be getting horses for the Inquisition? Horsemaster Dennett. He lives on a farm to the west. Tough old fella. We haven't heard from him. Best we can tell, he's old up until the Majors and Templars are done killing each other. You were concerned about refugees starving? Yes. Many of them brought food, but they expected to be home by now, or safe in a city. There's a hunter up the hill who has some ideas. What other problems do these refugees face? We've got some injuries that go beyond Stitches and Elfrid. I know healers are in short supply. But if you can find someone in Redcliffe to help us, it would save a lot of lives. Farewell. And you as well.
That tower is impressive, even as a ruin. I wonder what dreams it might hold. Must have been some time since the renegade Templars faced a mage of any talent. By the end of Hard in Hightown, almost every character is revealed as a spy or a traitor. Wait, you read my book? It was in the Inquisition Library. Everyone but Donnan turned out to be in disguise. Is that common? Are we still talking about books, or are you asking if everyone I know is a secret agent? Are there many tricksters in dwarven literature? A handful, but they're the exception. Mostly they're just honoring the ancestors. It's very dull stuff. Human literature. Now there's where you'll find the tricky, clever... No, not really. Dwarves write how they want things. Nothing to report, sir. road down there. The skull illuminates certain objects in the distance. I am not familiar with such magic. Of course, it had to be a skull that lights up creepy shit.
This is Moonstalker, that place for walkthroughs, with Buvar, Dragon Age Inquisition. Catch you on the flip side.